Amparo Acuna and arguably one of the Philippine team's brightest stars. Having won international honors many times over, this 2017 SEA Games gold medalist is certainly among country's top bets in sports shooting. Jason Valdez, undoubtedly one of the country's top marksmen. As a member of the Philippine shooting team, he's brought home major accolades, including a shiny gold medal from the Southeast Asian Shooting Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome to the show two of the top shooters in the country, Jason Valdez and Ambal Acuna. Thank you very much for joining us here. Now, Jason and Ambal, my first question would be, um, how did you guys get into the sport? You know, um, make it a profession. How did it all start? Um, I was influenced by my dad, who was a practical shooter. But though he influenced me in the Olympic uh, event, Olympic mm -hmm. event shooting. Yeah, same as uh, my papa. Uh, he also introduced me to rifle, rifle events. Mm -hmm. ISSF shooting events. And uh, Ampao, when we look at, we're seeing a bit of the equipment here right now, and when you talk about air rifles, and you know, people Siguro don't necessarily have an idea of how it actually works compared to the, you know, the rifles or the guns that we do see in TV movies. So what makes this different? Well, basically for the Olympic shooting, we're stationary, so we focus on accuracy and um, not Position. much of the action, not much of the physical mm -hmm. uh, stunts or whatever, we focus yeah, basically on accuracy. Mm -hmm. Accuracy. Now, how do you, what does one have to do or, you know, to really, what, what skill do you need in order to really do well in this sport? What's nice about Olympic shooting is that you don't have to be a certain type of built. It's more on your psychological being and how clear your mind is and how focused you are while you're shooting. Yes. How does the training actually go? Because, you know, it's, it's very, I'm very curious about it, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Like, when, when I found out that we were going to do shooting bow, <laughs> I was really curious as to how you guys really train for this. Uh, the practice is the continuance of the competition itself. So, kung anong ginagawa namin on training, the same lang when it comes to competition na rin. You know, it's interesting that you mentioned that it's psychological. It's yeah. very, a very mental sport. Yes. And how, how do you exercise that? Because, uh, you know, it's one thing to say, oh, I practice this over and over again, my body knows the routine and all that. How do you get mentally tough for competitions, especially when a podium finishes on the line? So, like, you need to practice the distractions around you. Mm -hmm. you. Under any circumstance, you need to be calm. You need to be focused. You need, you're always supposed to be prepared, no matter what's happening around you. And I think, our practice helps us zone in properly, helps us um, tap into the zone zone automatically when we practice and even when we compete on call. Mm -hmm. For you, Ampa, what do you think are the projects that you think will really help make this sport more popular here in the country? Actually, personally, I really think that the Olympic style of shooting isn't popularized in the Philippines. It's not recognized that much. Even if it has such a good impact on beginner shooters or, or for us athletes, shooting has taught us a lot. I think it would be better if, I think it would be great actually if we hold like summer programs for students. There are a lot of students who don't do anything during the, the mm -hmm. summer. So I think it would be great to open a program like that that would somehow introduce Olympic shooting to the next generation. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope that that does happen. And uh, Jason Ampao, thank you very much for joining us.